And um, what I'm here in Las Cruces, I work at Casa Peregrinos. We're usually here about seven months a year and then five up in Washington State. And, and so I, I, I've been involved with, uh, this is where I found where my, my niche was because I like dealing with people and, and, uh, and I've always enjoyed helping people. Because I grew, grew up in a relatively poor community. My dad was a steel worker and I came with a family of steel workers and coal miners. And, uh, but I ended up being the first boy in the family to graduate from high school, college, graduate school, military pilot. And so I've had a lot of firsts in my family and, and which is always cool. And so I try, when I am working here, I, I deal with a lot of, a lot of times young guys and girls, either at the university or here doing community service. And let them know that uh, America has always been a place of second chances. And, uh, and so you may have screwed up in some areas, but um, you can still recover. You can recover from it, go on and have a very prosperous and a good life. Um, but part of, to me, it's always part of having a good life is, uh, is, is what do you do with it? You know, um, I'm not a golfer, but I do like to bike and run, and you know, those are things I've done most of my life. I still do them. But, uh, but you gotta, to me, to, if you wanna get some satisfaction in life, you have to do something with your life besides make money and have fun. And uh, so that's why I've been, been involved with uh, Casa Peregrinos over the years. Thanksgiving is is um, a big thing to us, but it's so far removed, I think, from Christmas that for us it feels. For me, I feel like everything here is is rushed. Got Thanksgiving, got Christmas, <laughs> you know. Whereas for us, we have Thanksgiving, and then a couple of weeks later we have Halloween, and then we've got the whole you know two months that lead up to Christmas, and uh, for me that's kind of more of a, a relaxed, you know, way of, of the end of the year. Whereas here I find everything is just like Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. <laughs> it's just like, there you go, in your face. <laughs> so, I mean, it's kind of been hard to get used to. I think that people in the States take Thanksgiving um, to that next level, I think, because they've got the Black Friday and, and those are things that we just don't have. And, and it's, it's a different feeling. It's a different mm -hmm. atmosphere, I think. Eating. Not that it's a bad thing, but it's just something, I mean, for, I was born and raised in Canada, so to, to experience this for the first time was very interesting. Y el motivo de, de que yo estoy aquí, mi nombre es María Ríos, el motivo de que yo estoy aquí en Casa de Peregrinos ayudando es porque uh, yo soy una persona sola, soy viuda, 
y siempre estoy sola en mi casa. So, yo no sabía si podía uno ayudar. Entonces vi la oportunidad de que aquí podía ayudar desde febrero del año pasado. Dije, bueno, voy a ver cómo, cómo está la cosa. Me gustó, me siento muy confortable. Las personas aquí son muy amables. Y sobre todo que me siento muy bien. Saliendo de aquí yo me siento mal. Me duele esto, me duele el otro. Y aquí he hecho amistades, ayudo. Hay veces que ayudo siete horas, hay veces que ayudo lo que puedo. Y pues la cosa es que aquí he encontrado más um, un, un, personas que están igual que yo, que quieren ocupar su tiempo, como yo quiero ocupar mi tiempo en ayudar, en donde me soliciten mi, mi trabajo voluntario. In a, basically an uned, uneducated family. My, neither one of my parents graduated from high school. And the thing they would always say is, well, that's not for you, that's only for the rich people. <laughs> and I, I mean, I heard that so much, you know, and, and I found out that as I got older, I realized that most rich people do not sit around thinking of ways to screw over a poor person, you know. And it's the same with races and things like that. I, I, one of my closest friends over here was a sergeant that worked for me many years ago, and he was from Philadelphia, a black kid. Sergeant Bottoms was his name, super guy, absolutely super guy. And he said to me, he said, you know, when I came into the service, one of the things I learned was that the white guy wasn't just sitting around thinking of ways to screw the black guy. He said, I realized that that you guys are fighting, you're, you're trying to survive just like everybody else. You know, you hope, you hope you can make a better life for your kids or you can make a better life for yourself and things like that. And everybody's in the struggle. But we have this perception, you know, that if you're a white and you're a male that you've got it made. And with every, with every position in life, there's, there's, there's responsibilities that come along and, and uh, And, uh, you know, I, I uh, you, you know, you, you can survive and you can do well when you put your effort into it and, and don't worry about stereotypes and don't worry about what this group thinks or what that group. If you're doing what is right and you ask the Lord's help, um, you're gonna, you, you'll, you'll do well in life. You just, you'll survive. And not only survive, but you'll flourish. Because if, if people would have told me where I where I arrived all these years later when I was a young fella, I would have never believed it. <clears throat> I would have never ever ever believed it. I said, "No, nah, that's not for me. I could never never have accomplished these things." And uh, but they're possible. Get out there and work hard and get an education, and uh, and you you can survive and. I've been blessed that way. And that's why when I talk here at the food bank, when I have a chance to talk with the young guys and that and girls, um, I try to let them know that. You know, don't give up hope. You're heck, you're still young. There's a tomorrow. You know? Do you think volunteering gives them kind of a little bit of purpose? I think it does. I th most of the people that I have talked to that have come here for either community service or from the university coming over here and just putting in their, their little volunteer time. Uh, the overwhelming majority of them will say, you know, hey, I really enjoyed working with you. It's been, it's been fun, I've learned a lot, and uh, thanks for your time. That's, that's pretty good payback for me.